Good morning, everyone. Welcome along to the Women's Super G here at the 2024 FIS Alpine Junior World Ski Championships in the Ports de Soleil Haute Savoie in France. The second day where the medals will be handed out. Victoria Burgler now for Austria. 14th place in the downhill yesterday for the Austrian. And she's got that big advantage from the 0.92. Nearly a full second. Sensational skiing from the Austrian. And that was an aggressive line. Very dynamic skiing from the Austrian. Letting it run out. And Burgler is going to cross the line in top spot by over a second. Mallory Blanc underway. She wants two medals at these championships and she's got the skills. The hill is falling away from you. Blanc finding the tuck position again. She's looking for speed everywhere she can. This is going to be the key split. Oh, and she's up by 0.28. Blanc skiing tremendously well again. Mallory Blanc from Switzerland stops the clock. 0.47 up. Blanc in the lead of the women's Super G. Nicole Eibel now for Austria. And that will tell us how well she's going. Oh, a little stumble there, that left ski wobbling around underneath her. Well, I think uh, Eibel will have lost just a little bit more time on the bottom section. She could still go into a medal position here. And Eibel goes into third, 1.14 down. Well, that brings us to the conclusion of the women's Super G all the races have started. It is gold to Switzerland and Mallory Blanc taking it by 0.47. Burglar in second for Austria. A good day for the Austrian team. Well, hello and welcome to Châtel for the Port de Soleil FIS Alpine Junior World Championships. And it is day two. It is the Super G action for the men. We've just seen a little bit of a delay on the women's side. Aaron Tonnet, second and third in the downhills where this man picked up the third position. So another racer looking to make the adaption into the more technical turns of Super G. And low tuck position from the Italian. Would dearly love to get back on the podium and at the moment stand on the top step as the Italian. Here he comes now around that last turn. This is going to go close. Could he depose our French leader? He can by 0 0.32 of a second. Oh, a really good run. He's obviously on form. Third place in the downhill. Now leads the way in the Super G. Livio Hiltbrand now picked up the win in the downhill. Picked up the win in the Super G for the Junior World Championships last season. Big favourite coming into today with the form that he's obviously on. Really see how good he is. Oh, got compressed onto the heels. Somehow managed to keep the clean arc. Again, being aggressive now that he knows he's made those mistakes. The skis are running well. How about this left footer now? He needs to stomp on it really hard, but he's got caught late. Two direct going in there as well. And the message not getting back to the top. Oh, he made up some time, but into second. Oh, here we go. Back on it. Back ready to go. And this is Ander Mintegu. Has to try and find just under two tenths. That's a better line going in, but still not enough turn done. On the early part. And how close can he be? Oh, he can be really close. 0.28 behind. This is looking brilliant. Really good. Look how aggressive he's been with that right-footed turn. Building up the pressure nicely. This is looking really good from Ander. Last couple of turns to take in. He's got to stand solidly on this left foot. Oh, just a little bit of spray kicking out. How costly could that be? He's pushing hard. He's going close. Oh, it's a second. Oh, 0.21 off the pace. And that brings us to the end of our coverage and the end of the race here. And it is Max uh, Peratona that converts the third in the downhill to victory in the Super G and his ticket to the World Cup finals later on this season.